What's poppin' y'all? Hope you guys are having a great day today. And today we got a super cool video for you guys. Yet another tutorial, bro. I'm on the run with the tutorials. Anyway, um, let's get right into it. We're just gonna wanna go into Google to make these fire thumbnails. Try it straight up on my other screen. And then the first website we're gonna wanna go to is, or the first and only website we're gonna wanna go to is Canva. And um, this is actually gonna be a thumbnail for my, uh, <coughs> my video that came out yesterday so you guys are literally sorry if you guys can hear my brother in the background but you guys can see like i created the um thumbnail for that video and that video and all like like a lot of the videos like that i do so uh yeah um it already has the dimensions all registered in so you don't need to worry about that and then you know what's really cool about canva is um that it's not the most advanced things so but they do have advanced features but um, they also have a lot of already made templates, and if you have the full version, um, yeah, you can you can get all of these for free. And then even if you have like the free version, it's still you know you still have a lot of these. Anyway, um, I don't think I'm actually gonna use one of these. I already have an image that I downloaded the other day. I'm not gonna blur my stuff out because it <laughs> act like I actually have important stuff on my computer. All I have is just oh, wrong picture. Um, I think it's this picture. Um, I think this will, yep, that's going to be my background, uh, if I just copy that, and then, what I can actually do is X out of there, go right there, and then once it finishes uploading to Canva, I can just drag it over, and then, yep, now it's the background, and then, so that's pretty cool, but, um, I think I'm going to do, go over to Elements, and create, like, a, uh, a box to put my text in, and then I'll fill it with like a color. I'll drag it out that way. Um, a little smaller, longer. There we go. And then I'm just gonna center it. It'll automatically center like that. And then I'll go over here, make it really pop with a certain color. Well, that's just the background. Um, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I actually, uh, I think it could look better. Ooh. I don't know, man. You just gotta really mess around with it and find what you like. But um, I think I want to move that up a little bit. I like to line it up with the symmetry. Um, that's kind of a little big. I think I'm gonna bring. There we go. I'm just gonna line it up here. And there we go. And then I still feel like I could just bring that up. You know, it's really just, but um, yeah, it's really just playing around with it until you get what you like. So I like that right there, and then you know, the, the title of the video that um that the thumbnail is in before is for how to add camera shake. And so I think um since that looks good, actually I think I'm gonna change. It's, I'm just really good. At, you really just gotta play around with it, dude. Honestly, you can create like a custom color, like blah blah blah, and then um. And that 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 actually one looks kind of cool because it blends in. I think it would contrast nicely with the white text. So now I just can press add heading, and then I'm just gonna click that. You have you kind of have to play around with it. Um, Canva can kind of be a little confusing, but um, overall it works pretty good. So I'm just gonna make that nice and big, and then I'm actually gonna change the color to white. So I, I think I like the way it contrasts. Then I'm just going to do how to add camera shape. There you go. But it's a little big. So I'm just going to, let's see. You see, you really do just have to play with it because I want to move this around. Make it a little smaller. I, have, I obviously want to make it fit in the box, so. I can find some symmetry there. There we go. And then I think I'll do like that. And then maybe I can even have enough space to do in DaVinci Resolve. In DaVinci Resolve 16. That's actually how you spell DaVinci Resolve. Uh, or for the, um, the app spelled weird, but um, yeah, don't. No. Don't comment, comment down below about my spelling. That's actually how you spell it. And then I'm just going to try to find some symmetry there. 
and yeah so that's looking pretty good but um i actually want to get a logo in so even though i already imported the logo you guys can see right there oh um i just get to import it again just to show you guys um, how easy it is just down literally just download it drag it in and it's gonna load it's gonna be a little blurry at first because it's uploading right over there um and then maybe i'll and actually what i was gonna do Thing about like since it's camera shake, I need to make sense to like make it a little like not perfect. So um, I think that'll be cool. But the symmetry is still there because it's right down, uh, right down the middle. So how to add camera? Or should I do it for only camera shake? I don't even know. I think I know. I think that's fine. How to add camera shake? And uh, I don't know. I think that's a little too. I think that would be cool because it, you know, it's kind of like a funny way. Um, but I, I, I really don't want to leave all this negative space. So now I have to think of something to put right here. And once I think of something, I'll come back and we can keep talking about how to do that. Okay. So um, since I, since I can't really think of anything, what I like to do sometimes for inspiration is uh, go over to YouTube and literally just look up how. How to add camera shake in DaVinci Resolve 16. And I'm just gonna look at what these people have. Um, interesting, interesting shake effect. That looks kind of cool. Shake effect tutorial. Okay, so maybe you know, since I'm not seeing anything, um, maybe I just have to do what they did. And reposition this a little bit, maybe. Actually, but I wanna, I wanna make it mine a little different. Um, so I need to uh, simple and easy. How about we just put a nice simple and easy right over here? So I'm just gonna go out of there. I like, I like it white because I think it'll all contrast nicely with um, with the uh, with the background. So the good thing about um, Canva being a fairly basic um, application. It's not even an application, it's literally just a website. Um, uh, all you have to do is, sorry, um, go to the website. <clears throat> One second. Simple and easy. Free! We could do, no, because they probably already know. Uh, simple and easy. Maybe bad. What? Oh, it's not big enough. Okay. I was wondering what happened. Uh, okay. I think that looks pretty good. I, I like to just make it as small as possible. So, um, Maybe if we drag this over a little bit, then make that make that a little bit bigger, and drag this over. You know, the good thing about making this tutorial, and you really just have to play like play with it to make sure you know you like it the way it looks. And then once you're done, just press download. But we're not quite ready for that, so um. Yeah, I, kind of, I actually kind of like it, so if I want to change the color of the text, I could just go... Or actually, I think if you just have this one selected. Yeah, that, that's the good thing about um, being able to... Uh, since it's so easy, um, it's a, you can just kind of get more lazy, you know? Because if, if, if you were in like another program, you have to highlight all of it and blah, blah, blah. So... Um, yeah, that's the good thing about it being so basic. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this tutorial because um, it's looking at nine minutes. I might cut some parts out. I'm not completely sure. But that's about how long it is right now. And I don't want it to be too long. So yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this one. Um, You know, like I said, it really just is like playing around with it, making sure you like it, you know, the text color, weather text, and blah, blah, blah. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys found it useful, be sure to subscribe and like. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.